In the mid-20th century, agriculture went through a green revolution that significantly increased yield. Norman Borlaug, an agronomist, led the charge to introduce high-yield, disease-resistant wheat varieties to Mexico, Pakistan, and India, saving more than one billion people from starvation. His legacy continues to improve yields year over year to this day. Fast forward to today. The global population is exploding. We have 7.2 billion people on the planet now, with an expectation of 9.6 billion people by 2050. Due to economic growth, especially in the developing world, the per capita consumption of agricultural products has also steadily risen. Can we keep up with growing demand? Even accounting for yield increases due to the green revolution and other technologies like biotechnology, we are falling short. With current global trends, almost 60% more food will be needed by 2050. What if we cannot increase yields to meet expected demand? When demand outweighs supply, it means the price of our food will increase. For those in the developed world, a small increase in the cost of food will not have a huge impact on quality of life. But for almost half the world's population, who live on less than $2.50 a day, it's a much more serious problem. So how can we increase agricultural yields? With all of the advances in precision agriculture, combined with the ability to learn from large data sets, we can now use data science to analyze weather and crop data to dramatically increase yields, meet demand, and make more efficient use of our resources. Predictive analysis of this data can help us reach our worldwide food security goals. Using a data-driven scientific approach, we can understand the microenvironment where the crop grows and how grower decisions, combined with the weather, impact that environment and the yield at the end of the season. Using this understanding, we can optimize decisions to increase yields.